and welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're not going to be doing Sudoku. We're going to do, be doing a puzzle called Acre Philomeno by Jesper Josephson. Now, Jesper Josephson, for those of you who don't know, is one of the cleverest men on Logic Masters Germany. A ridiculously good solver, ridiculously good setter, um, and yeah, therefore I imagine this is going to be quite difficult. Now, Acre puzzles. Acre is a is quite a new puzzle type actually. It was invented by none other than Eric Fox, who is a doyen of the Discord server. Uh, those of you who who go there from time to time will no doubt be familiar with Eric's name. A very very gifted um, young man, and. Um, yeah, the, the, I haven't done a great many acre puzzles, which doesn't bode well for this puzzle. But anyway, I'm looking forward to giving this a go. I don't have much news for you today, so just an appeal, really. If you do enjoy the sorts of logic puzzles and Sudokus and crosswords that you see on Cracking the Cryptic every day, twice a day at least, um, then do think about subscribing and hitting the bell icon. We'd really appreciate it. Um, as we head up towards half a million subscribers. We're not a million miles away, but it sometimes feels a long way away to us. Um, now, what are the rules of this one? It's strange shaped grid as well today. We've got um, divide the grid into regions and enter a number into each empty cell so that each cell contains a number equal to the number of cells in its region. No two regions of the same size share an edge. Uh, there are never more than three consecutive cells with the same parity within a row or a column. Three consecutive cells, I see, okay. And all cells containing odd numbers are orthogonally connected. Now, I've just remembered, I was told to show you an example here, which I haven't got ready. So let me just go and find that. Okay, so here's the example, which... Um, all right, we're going to have to study to work out how this works. So... I can see that in the solution, yeah, every, it's it's basically obeying ordinary phenomeno rules, isn't it? So this, this six region has six cells in it. It's not connected orthogonally to any other region that has six cells in it. Now, how's the acre part of this working? Uh, there are never more than three consecutive cells with the same parity within a row or a column. That's certainly true. So I can see that when you have three greys in a row, then the next cell is always a green cell. And all cells containing odd numbers are orthogonally connected. Yes, they are. OK, I can see how there's an orthogonal, a single orthogonal region made up entirely of greys. Right. I've got no idea. I think the best way to do this is just to dive in. Do have a go yourselves. The way to play is to click the link under the video. I'll put two links underneath it. I'm going to be doing this in our software. But there'll also be a PEMPA link. Some of you like PEMPA for your logic problems. And PEMPA has the advantage that I think it has an automatic solution checker in it, which um, I don't think Sven will have built in into our Sudoku software. So anyway, do have a go. Um, and now I get to play. Let's get cracking. And I'm very tempted to start off with it <laughs> somewhat ineptly with the one the ones because these ones are obviously in their own region, so we can just circle them look um, now what I'm actually the other thing I'm thinking about is this is effectively some sort of parity puzzle, isn't it? So is it sensible to highlight all of the odd digits in presumably orange for? for odd, isn't it? Because they both begin with O. If we highlight all the odd digits and see what we see then. So that's odd, that's odd. They look like they're all odd, so they get oranged. All of the uh, even digits can be blued then. Let's do that. Now, has this revealed what we're meant to do to us? The answer is not immediately to me at least. How am I going to fill in 11s? Oh, that's something that the testers have overlooked. That needs to be blued. I can't do, I can't write 11 into a cell in the software. It won't let me. I'll have to, ah, I'll have to find a, a, a way around that somehow. Right, so what is it that we're meant to know here? I'm not allowed, so I can't have, so for example, I couldn't join this up with this one like this because that would be a sequence of five consecutive 
or a se sequence of five digits of the same parity, which is not allowed. These threes look quite close together in a way that could be uh, unpleasant. We, we can't, these threes can't hit one another. Ah, ah, right, that cell. Now, I don't think I know what the number is in this cell, but don't I know it's odd? Because if it's even, it's only one cell large, and that simply will not do. So if this is part of an even philomeno region, that clearly is impossible, so that must be odd. But the thing about that is that it's still got three different options. It could be part of the three, it could be part of the seven, or it could be a one. Now that digit cannot be odd because that would be isolated from all its friends. So that cell there must be even. And that, okay, now that must be a four or an eight because there's no way of getting a smaller even region into that single cell. So, uh, now what does that mean? I don't know. I sort of feel like there's some tension around this domino. If, yeah, uh, hang on, is that right? If that's not a four, then the four would have to come straight down there and that's gonna to create too many um, blue cells in a row. So that cell there must, must be blue and must be a four. Um, I keep wanting to delete this 4 and 8 from here because it sees a 4 and an 8, but it's not Sudoku, Simon. Uh, but now that... Yeah, now the 8's blocked in, isn't it? So the 8 must come to here. Okay, so this is this is somewhere we can start. Ah, now I must avoid having f uh, 4 in a row. So that's got to be odd. Odd's got to collect to its friends, so that's got to be odd. This has now got to be an eight because there's no way I can stack eight into those three cells. So this is this is a decent start now. We're off and running. So now we've got an eight here and that's beautiful because this square now must be, you've guessed it, odd. Uh, I still haven't reached my quorum of eights so I've got to keep going with my eights. That's got means I can keep going with my odds as well. That's forcing this four out. That forces this odd out. This eight, one, two, three. No, it's it's still not core eight, is it? I've only got a maximum of six eights. So that so both of those have to be eights, I think. Four, five, six, seven. And this is the ambiguous one. One, two, that's got to be a four because I've got to have four fours. And that, therefore I've always got to reach this cell. And that fixes the fours because now this square cannot be blue or it would create a line. So that's got to be orange. Orange connects to its friends. Ah, this is going okay so far. That's got to be orange or it's connect. It's got, we've got too many in a row. This has got to be blue or it's getting th four oranges in a row. This has got to be blue, same reason. This oranges have got to get out. So these two become oranged. The, oh, look, I've got three oranges in a row. <laughs> this is lovely. Um, so far, it's not nearly as difficult as I was worried it might be. Um, so this must be six, mustn't it? Because we can't fit a smaller even, even region into this one cell. So that's six, that's six. That means this must be six. That's three in a row. So we can do this, we can do this. That's got to be a six. Um... Oh, don't stop now. This was going very nicely. Oh, yeah, there's three in a row again. So we can add on that one. That's three in a row now. So we've got to add on this one. That that must be part of the six because it can't be part of a smaller even region. So now I could actually draw this in. Boom, 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 boom. All of that is correct. Or at least I hope it's correct. This, oh, the four is now fit, forced. It, and it determines this, the nature of that digit. That must be a four in order to complete itself. Now, now this must be an eight by the same token. So we can complete the eight region. Like that. 
and I should have said by the way there is a chance I will get interrupted during today's video because um, we've got a man coming to fix our, our broadband which is quite an important thing when you're a youtuber uh, so if that happens I may have to just pause I hope I will regain the ability to upload this video to the internet um, anyway this 11 even if it took all of the cells above it it would have to take these four as well so this is even now it's only reached a maximum count of eight so it's still got to carry on growing um, hmm okay all right so now i'm stuck right this i've got i spotted something this can't be a one region because it's blue, it's even region, so it's got to grow again. That forces this down. We know that this must be therefore part of the 11, so that drops this down. We can put in a border here. That's three in a row, <laughs> so this square's got to be blue. That forces this to go round the corner, so that forces the 11 out again. So now we're up to a count of a maximum of 10 on this 11 region uh, oh oh no no but look at this row i've got three oranges in a row so both of those have got to be blue this has got to be an even number of regions so it extends that forces this orange down which means this must be blue this now must be orange uh, that's i don't think we know about this one yet oh no we do actually sorry because this is a five region and we know this is a this is part of the 11 region so this has got to this has got to come down and therefore it's creating all sorts of cul-de-sacs um, so we've got an extended u septomino there so that's that's the region of size two now so we can fill that in we know that this digit here must be a five, that digit must be a five, that digit must be a five. Now, this digit can't be a five because that would leave these two cells behind and they'd, they'd have to be both ones because they must contain odd digits and you can't have ones connected to each other. So this must be five, I think. This is very clever, isn't it? So now we can orangeify this. We've left behind a region that must have a three in it. And the reason it must have three is there's no other way of dividing three cells. We could do a one and a two region, but the two would have to be even. And it's not even because all of these are in odd cells. So this, I think, is all forced. And we can draw in some lines again, like so. Uh, but this doesn't have to extend down, actually, because we haven't yet... Because, well, it's because the orange is actually connected to the to the 11. So the orange could connect to the rest of the world via the 11. It doesn't have to come into this cell here. Um, we don't need the blues to connect, do we? So I don't have to think about connectivity from a blue perspective. Um, so... Let's have a think about this. How do we take this forward? It'd be lovely to know actually whether, because the orange region here could come out through this cell or could come out through this cell or could come out through both, but it must come out through one of those. Uh, okay, now I'm stuck, aren't I? I have a bad feeling about this. Right, so let's think. Let's think. <laughs> um, I think there might be something we can do in, in this part of the grid here. So for example, this cell can't be part of that region, because if it is, it's going to leave behind a size 2 region, whereas this needs to be divided into odd digits. But yeah, this could just escape this way, couldn't it? So this is a bit ambiguous, I think. Uh, 
Hmm, I have a feeling there's something I can do there if I was cleverer about it, but I can't see how to do it. Right. Here is a point. Is it possible for this seven to connect to the rest of the grid through this cul-de-sac? Clearly the answer to that is no, because if to, in order to do that, it would have to come down there. And that's creating a line of four oranges. Yeah, the way to think about this is it's not possible for both of these to be orange. So one of these is blue and whichever one of these is blue, it's cutting off this orange from escaping down here. So this orange blob here has to escape somehow this way. And that means this seven must take this cell. There we go. That's a small deduction. And that, ah, that's beautiful. Right, that's it, isn't it? Because now this three must take this cell. And once the three takes that cell, it can go no further because it's going to bump into this three. So now we can fence this off. We can fence this off. We can force that three downwards and we can therefore finish off the four region which must come to here. Now that must do something. That means that this uh, orange region next to it must come out and out again. It needs to connect to its friends. Um, now the seven must come to here because it can't get out any other way, which, which fences in the three. So the three region gets finished. The seven could take this cell. We don't know about this cell. Do we know? Hmm, I'm just, I'm oh, sorry. I'm just trying to get, I want to sort of keep these apart, but I don't know that it's necessary. This digit here could be a three if that's a, if this digit here is a one, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. I was forgetting the acre rule. Both of these, both of these cells have to be blue because otherwise we're creating lines and that's no good. So that must be orange and a three. This has got to get out and meet its friends. So that's got to be orange. That forces this to be a seven because the seven is no way complete, even if I include this cell. So now all of those get filled in. We've got three in a row here. So this square's got to be blue. We know that, yes, and we know that orange doesn't escape through this cul-de-sac here. So it must come up through there and that creates a line of three, which means that cell is blue. This is beautiful, isn't it? Now, one, two, three, four, five. So at least those two are part of the seven region. Maybe this one as well, depending on the nature of this cell. This two region needs to be completed. So now it is, there we go. And we can fence that off like that. This that fence is the seven in again. So the seven region has to come out a bit further. Although it might not be seven by this point, could be some other number. Um, okay, so, oh, look, this is, this is getting close to being cut off and it can't be isolated because it's a blue digit. So that must come out to here. Um, right. Is that helpful? Quite probably, but not. Oh, what about that digit? That there's a sort of wall here. We've got Scylla and Charybdis on either side of this, this diagonal. So this square must be orange to get out, to get this, this section of the grid out. And that's part of this 11. But I don't have the ability to write in 11 here. So that's a problem. Um, don't really know how to address that. This could be a two region, an end, and this could be orange. Okay, so now I feel like I can do more in the top right, but that could be complete nonsense. Can I connect the four and the two together? One, two, three, four. Now there's seven cells in that region. So at least one of those has got to be 
Yeah, at least one of those must be orange, because this four, even if it comes straight out, I've then got, I feel I'm going to have the wrong count left, aren't I? Can't put two there and then four there, or the fours would connect. Um, okay, don't forget acre rules as well, Simon. There could be an acreage going on that you need to think about. So, yes, here's a point. This cell now can't be orange, because if that's orange, that two region is finished there, and this would have to be an even region in a one cell thing, and that won't work. So this cell has to be blue. So this has to come out here and can't be a two. So these two cells are connected in a region and therefore this two must be those cells. That's, I think, good logic. Now this could be part of the four though. If these, in fact, they must be, mustn't they? Because this region here, what, what even size could it be? Well, it can't be two because it's connected to a two and it can't be six because I can't fit a six in there. So this is part of a four and therefore when it completes, which it must complete here now because this can't be odd or it would be isolated from the grid. So that all just gets completely forced by the acre logic. That's really clever and sort of a bit of philomeno on top. Now, one, two, three, four. Now this square has to be a seven, which means I can fence that region in. And this cell, Ah, well, yes, now this cell has to be odd because it, it, it can't fit an even sized region in there. So that must be odd. Uh, although, yes, and if that's an odd sized region and it's not a one, it must be at least a three. So this cell becomes odd. Oh, and I, but I still haven't managed to build an acre. Oh, there is an acre restriction. That's three blues in a row. Gosh, I keep forgetting that. So again, this can't be a one, so it must be at least a three. So that comes down. Wow, okay. Um, and we're slowly building up the puzzle, aren't we? Now, what can we do next? What can we do next? So this could be a three, that could be a three, or this could be like a 23. There's nothing that, the only thing it can't be is a seven or a one. This, well, if this is a two, it has to take this cell because it can't take that one. If it's more than two, it's still got to take this cell. So this cell is always blue, which is interesting, which means that the, now we've got a new Silurin code to Charybdis, which forces that to be orange. And again, part of this 11. So is this two or is it, or it could well be four actually, look, It'd be something like that. Uh, and unfortunately, I still haven't managed to develop any more acre, acre situations, I don't think. Let's just pause and take, oh, but this, oh no, I don't know this has to come down because I don't know whether this has to come down. Ah, it would be very nice to know what this was doing, wouldn't it? Although, ah, no, I, I know how to do this. This is an 11, so, it, so it's not connectivity, it's simply the sheer size of this, even if it took all those four cells. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's not enough. Four, yeah, it's not enough, it's got to take one more cell, whatever. So that's, this cell is part of the 11. Oh, that's disappointing actually, because I thought that would do more. It's not done, no, it's not done anything. Hmm, okay, bobbins, right. So we've got to think harder again. I know that this 11 here is definitely Part, uh, these these are definitely in the whoa 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 it's all going nuts but it's definitely true to say these are in the same region with this 11 
And this has got to go some distance further. Oh, I wonder if this can connect to that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No. So this 11 and this 11 are different. Actually, what we might be able to do here is think about how we're going to build this top region up here. Because if this three is fenced off now, so if this three took those three cells, we'd leave behind. Oh, no, we could. We could have a three here and a one here, and that would work. Oh, OK, sorry. I thought I was about to be able to disprove that. If the three comes to here, if this three takes that cell, that that is impossible, actually, because then we've left behind a region of size three or a region of size two, neither of which will work. If this is a region of size three, it's going to connect to another region of size three. So in fact, we do know what this does. It's fenced off and we get some more digits. And now we have to fill this four cell region with a one and a three region. And we must disconnect the one here from the three because otherwise these threes will connect to this three. So that's all forced. So this 11 has a long way to travel. It could only take four cells in this part of the grid. Oh, yeah, hang on, look, I've just noticed I've got an acre relationship, so that's blue, which means that's now yeah, uh, orange, and now we can start building out this 11 it's got to take these cells now and we know it doesn't touch the 11 on the other side of it oh and it's got three cells it's gone three cells look it's gone three there so that's got to be blue which forces the orange out which forces the orange out again uh, now keep going keep going logic ah it's got to do that now what does that mean this, uh, no, I don't know. I'd love to know if this is a two region or if, if it's a four region. I don't know. Okay, no, sorry. I'm, I'm not seeing that very clearly at all. Um, if this is orange, that would have to be blue. If this is orange, that would have to be blue because we'd have three oranges in a line. What's the nature of this digit then? That's That could just be a four like that, or it could be a six like that, or it could be a massive even number. I don't think we know much about that and how that works. So is there some way that we're meant to know more about the right hand side of the grid? Probably. It's so annoying that this can be a two region. Oh, that, that is a two region. Let's fill that in. Oh, do we know do we know whether they're part of the 11 or not? If they're not, these would have to be a one and a three region. And there would be a uniqueness problem. <laughs> I'm not going to use uniqueness, but that would, I think. So if this 11 didn't take this cell, these four cells could either be a one here and a three there or a one here and a three there. And I don't think there would be a way of knowing which was which. So we, we actually, we can sort of note in our brain that this is definitely part of the 11, which is sort of interesting. Um, okay, now have we got, so have we got any more three in a rows anywhere? That's what I'm looking for now. I'm not seeing any. Do we know what this is? If this is more than three, let's say it's five, which is the next number up, it would do all of that. And then this would have to be, yeah, there's a problem here. There's a problem here. Okay, if this is not three, so let's say it's five or, the, pro the problem is this cell. If this cell is orange, yeah, that's it. That's, it's really simple once you see it. If this cell is orange, this cell has to be blue because otherwise we've got four oranges in a row. 
And now how do you get this top orange out to connect to its friends over here? You have to take those two cells and that creates four in a row in that column. That's really clever, but it's not. It's just not easy for me to see that. So that's got to be blue, which, which means this must be orange. That forces this to be blue, which forces the orange to come out like this. That can't be a single cell, even single cell blue digit, so it must come out to here. So now, now that can't be a four because it would connect to this. So it must be a two because it can't be any other number. So that's a two, which must mean that this is now all part of a four, which means that we actually get an extra digit as a bonus, which means all of this becomes forced. That forces the three region here. This region, which must connect to its friends, so it keeps going. That can't be a single cell blue region, so that comes out. This region has to come out as well, look. So that comes down, that's part of the 11. So we can join that to its friend. And Oh, and I've got three blues in a row. So let's go back to acre logic. And we've, I've just noticed I've got three of those in a row. So that goes back to blue logic. That goes back to blue. That goes to blue as well, because otherwise I've got th four of those in a row. So we get, all of a sudden we're getting a little bit of progress. This yeah, there's an enormous like tree type region here that has to get out. So it's got to come through that gap, which makes this blue. Good grief. Right. Now, now, oh, can I build this 11 further? Four, five, six, eight. It's still got to go a lot further. It's got to go four more cells. Oh, so it doesn't join to this. That's a little bit interesting, isn't it? can't join there uh, so can't join to this so if it did come down here that would force all sorts of things at the bottom of the grid so if that's blue then because it can't touch this that would have to be orange. That would have to... No. No, no, that's wrong. That would have to be orange, but that needn't be orange. Actually, that those would both be orange. For reasons... I'll, let me just think about this for a second. If that's... That would be blue. Those would both be orange. That would have to be blue. Uh, don't like the look of this. I don't think this works. Um, so let me sh let me show you why this is a problem. If this is blue and disconnects itself from this, I don't actually think we need to prove this is an eleven. Let's just let's just envisage what happens uh, if this is blue. Remember, this area still has to get out of uh, out of the cul-de-sac it's in, so it has to take this cell. And the interesting thing about this cell having to be in is that now this cell is forced over because this can't be an isolated blue cell. So that's got to go over there. And now I've almost got a great wall of blue here. So I've got to break that up with an orange. But now this becomes a blue. And the thing that I think is problematic about this is now how on earth are we going to connect the yellows in this grid to the yellows on the other side of the grid? These two have to come down because we've not connected the yellows yet and that forces that to be blue. And now I've isolated the left, the right hand side of the grid from the world and that won't work. That's that's quite difficult to see that. But um, well, it's prompted by considering. Yeah, I was thinking about the 11s and whether these could connect, but they, def, they it's not possible for this square to be blue. And if it's orange, now that square's blue. And that's going to give us a... Oh, I hope I've made a mistake here because this might be a similar problem. Because now I've got the same issue, which is I've still got to connect the oranges on the right to the oranges on the left. And now they can only come through... Ah! Ooh! Right, well, now they can only come along the bottom row of the grid, which is going to force a three-cell orange region which forces two blue acre regions to bound it, which forces this to be orange. 
This orange has got to connect to its friend, so those two are orange. That's got to be blue. Can't isolate an odd-numbered blue, so that's blue. You can't isolate, isolate an orange in the corner, so that's got to be blue. That forces the orange up here. This can't be an isolated blue. I hope this is right, because it felt logical, but now I'm doubting myself. Well, this can't be an isolated blue. So that is a four region, which we can fill in. This can't be a five region because it's got to be of even size. So we can fence that off, I think. Uh, let's fence it off and fill it in with fours. Now that cell therefore has to be orange. I don't know, if, I don't think we do know it's an 11 because um, Oh, hang on. I, my, the other thing I'm just thinking about is I mustn't, this 11 here mustn't hit this 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, right. So it's four. It's totally forced. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. So let's look at this region. Now, this region is most certainly not of size 11 yet. So it has to take that cell. Now, look at this. Now, this 11 here must not ever get to this cell. If it gets to that cell, it's touching its friend up here, and that's not allowed. So how, now if you look down here carefully, I think we've only got 11 cells there. So this 11 is, is, of, is of size 11, and it occupies those cells in order that it doesn't touch its friend, the 11, above it. So that's forced. That, this cell here, therefore, must be a sort of cushioning one. And this 11 has got to go, how many is it for? It's eight at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's got to go round the corner. Nine, whoops, oops. <laughs> Why is that not working? Nine, 10, 11, it's got to go to there. So that means it, we can fill in those and we get left look with a little beautiful three region on the right hand side. Now, now we still haven't connected the right hand side to the left. We've got that cell has now got to be orange, which acre forces that to be blue so this is part of the 11 now because it can't be a one so that joins to that uh, now what do we do don't know is the answer quick check of the clock no <laughs> The, the broadband man isn't due for another three minutes. I've got three minutes to finish the puzzle. Come on. Um, we shall... Hmm, what shall we do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, ah, no. I was about to make an argument about this 11, but then I, I was forgetting it can go upwards. Oh, I know one thing I can do. This three can't take both of those cells because if it did, it's isolating that as an eight region and it's only of size six. So that means that this cell must be part of that three, which which gives me the opportunity to blue this square to avoid an acre problem. So that's a blue. This is an odd number, so it's got to keep growing. That's still an odd number, so it's still got to grow. This orange has got to get out. So so that becomes orange and it can't be a one. So that means this comes to here. And now we've got four, we've got eight. Oh, we've got eight and it's forced. So we've got to take three, we've got to take three more up here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So they get a one in the corner. Or well, not in the corner, but a one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Good. Uh, so now we can fence this off. Fence this off. This is a two, so that's very, well, so this three could drop down here. Um, what size would that leave this three? So if this three does that, we've got left there with four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. That's not right. That's impossible. That's an, an odd number of cells for even regions. So this three does not take this cell, so it must take this cell. So that's a three, it's orange, 
but that could no and that can't be a one because it would fence off a six region so this is blue and we haven't now connected this part of the grid to the bottom so that now becomes orange we can draw some regions off the back of that like this we oh that eight's beautiful then so that eight is just fixed we can just fill it in with eights that is a two region that's a four region this region has to grow I'm actually a bit worried about this because we've got I've got an awful lot of real estate to fill here I've hardly got any cells in this 11 um, oh and I've got three in a row there so that's got to be orange gosh it's, I'm so bad at spotting this and that's beautiful though that's an odd number so it must grow so that becomes even which forces the orange to come out through a new Scylla and Charybdis here so that's orange that's three in a row so that's blue forces this to be orange forces this to be orange this four has to grow and, and be of least of size well it has to be of size four so that's actually filled in which fills in uh whoopsie whoops we can do that we can do this it might not be the case that all of these have to be 11s i think we could have a one in here or e no we can't have a three so there could be a, a, a rogue one in this region of the grid. Ah, uh, no, we don't know about this orange. So how big? Oh, but that's three. Sorry, I've just noticed the bottom row has three blues in a row. So that's got to be orange. This has got to be orange to get out. So now this six is getting troubling, isn't it? That's got to be blue because we've got three of those in a row that now can't be blue so that's orange orange must connect to its friend so that's orange and this six is coming over to join this region so that's got to be blue and let's just see where this goes then so it's got to do it's got to be of that shape it's forced one two three four five six leaving behind a four region there this is so clever good grief now that can't be a lone blue digit so that's got to have a friend fill in this now i think our lo our only challenge now is to fill in the digits so one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's done it's done it's we've got this region here is actually exactly the right size we just have to draw in the lines like hopefully if it lets me do it like that and we have to draw in that line and I might have missed a line here or there but I think that is a solution that is valid what a beautiful puzzle that really is four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I think it's correct but absolutely love that Jesper again all of your puzzles are an absolute joy to me they really are um, let me know how you got in on in the comments let me know if you want to see more pencil puzzles I love pencil puzzles um, but we tend to shy away from them because not all of our viewership enjoy them as much as I do but things like this I mean what's not to like absolutely magnificent and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic